I'm back again, and I'm disappointed. I was recording a video, and the fucking program crashed. So all that's gone. So I got to do it again. But get you're lucky. I get to summarize now. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Update on my health. Okay. Worst case scenario this year, I was 360. When I started my weight, <clears throat> start getting back to healthy again. Um, that was back in August 22. Since then. I've lost 44.7 pounds. So now I'm 303.5 pounds, <clears throat> which is good. So so that's a major plus. Uh, thing of it, I think it's probably the meds I'm working on. Metformin is supposed to help you lose weight, losing a lot of weight. <clears throat> so happy about that. Uh, the other thing that I've done is stop drinking sugared Coke. I don't like the standard one. So at home, I drink the Stevia one. That works. But when I'm out in a restaurant, they don't have it, which is a pain in the ass. So what I do is I just drink Coke Zero or whatever diet drink they have. <clears throat> I don't like drinking water at a restaurant unless, you know, I've been hiking or something like that. It's a different story. So that's what I've done there. Uh, the other thing, I uh, took the diabetic training course. Uh, that is interesting because I took it years ago uh, with my first wife and that has changed a lot. Um, you know, before they'd say, you know, keep away from all starches, blah, blah, blah. I don't say that anymore. Uh, basically what they're saying is follow the Canadian food guide, which is basically one half your plate should be fruits and vegetables. Uh, one quarter should be starch and one quarter should be protein. And they give you sizes you should be trying to get to. <clears throat> so, but I think for me, I wouldn't follow the Canadian food guide because it doesn't really work properly but for me i think the best bet would be quarter 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 so that would be <clears throat> a quarter should be vegetable a quarter should be fruit a quarter should be protein a quarter should be starch <clears throat> get all four food groups uh, and that actually works pretty good uh, for me the fruit generally won't be oranges won't be grapefruits won't be pomelos because oranges are okay oranges if they're mini oranges like the mandarin oranges i'm okay with that the big oranges aren't too bad but probably too much sugar and I don't want to deal with size. And the grapefruit and pomelo, I don't take beta blockers, so not a problem. But for some diabetics and people with high blood pressure, that is an issue. <clears throat> it screws up your drugs. So you don't want that. Um, so something to think about. Uh, the other thing is I brought my calorie count down considerably. I'm trying to keep it at, say, 2,500 to 3,000 at most. Uh, and that's what I've been doing. Previously, with drinking all the pop and eating all the cookies and chips and all the crap I've been doing, I was probably getting calories up to eight to nine to 10,000 a day. Uh, now I understand why I'm losing weight to the point where I can actually fit in a booth. Like when I go to a diner or whatever, even a McDonald's, I can fit in a booth. Now I'm not squished in. <clears throat> so that's easy enough to do. The other thing is I've been telling people who keep trying to force feed you. Uh, you go to a thing, oh, eat your food, eat your food. I, I bark at people now who do that, especially when I see them like was out yesterday uh, with Pepe, Lily, and myself. And Lily's trying to dump food on Pepe's plate. And I said, stop that. You know, she's got to learn to know when she's full or when she's hungry so she doesn't have a eating disorder. Because a lot of us do have an eating disorder. It's called we don't know when we're full. We just keep eating. And we, eating is used for everything from <clears throat> being someone's you know, going out and talking to people to whatever it's eating should not be uh, a social event. Eating is food. And if you're going to someone's house and it's a social event, eat what you want and just push the plate forward and, and talk, you know. So, you know, the reason you go there is not to stuff your face, it's to talk to people and get up to date. So key thing, don't tell people to eat any more food. Just tell them, make sure you have what you want and that's it. Awesome. The worst thing I saw years ago uh, was when I went to the pool. I saw this <clears throat> round chubby kid. You know, he's trying to be out like this is a Coquitlam wave pool. And he's trying to look after himself, trying to get healthy, and he's playing. And his horrible, nasty mum is pulling him back in and throwing two chocolate chip cookies, not little ones, big ones in his hand, and trying to fatten him up like she's trying to get him ready for turkey dinner. You know, uh, <clears throat> reminds me of Hansel and Gretel. So realistically... 
uh, for those parents who keep force feeding your kid. It's not the old, it's not the 1800s, not the 1700s. Uh, there's enough food on the table. The kids know it. Uh, we're not, you know, plowing fields. We're not walking to school. You know, you guys are so bad. You drive them to school, the fucking front door. And if you can get away, you, you carry them to their chair and put them in. Kids are getting lazy. Uh, you know, and if they're not, how do we say it? If they're, when they're at home, they're in front of the TV, they're playing video games or they're studying. And you even put them outside in the old days when there's nothing to do. We went outside and played, you know, you go play soccer, baseball, whatever, even te- football or <clears throat> anything. Football is around, <clears throat> not round. It's an oval shaped ball for anyone who's an outside of Canada and the States. Uh, our idea of football is not the same as what we call soccer. And soccer is your football. <clears throat> but anyways, um, football is closer to like a rugby ball, but not as bad. But at the end of the day, we used to get out, we used to play. And sometimes we didn't eat because we just wanted to play. Now you got a problem where kids just want to play video games, study, and get fat. So we don't want to do that. The other thing to think about is also you want to get your kids outside and everyone else outside because your eyes are going to go bad. Uh, they did a study over in Asia, <clears throat> in two schools in particular, over a couple of years, and they found the kids that went out and did recess and went out and played, their eyes were good. The kids who stayed in the class and studied were going blind and had to wear glasses because they, their eyes were going from round to egg shape. Um, so get your kids outside. It's important to get a, some exercise. Uh, exercise helps make you smarter. You need a combination of physical fitness um, and you need your studying. And part of the, the plus there is you're going to get three things. You're going to get <clears throat> someone who is rote somewhat. You're going to get someone who's problem solving capability, especially in sports. And you're going to get someone who knows how to communicate and work with people, which is part of sports. And in business, you need all three. You can't have a rote monkey. Uh, you've got to have a problem solver, people person, and that's what you need. If you're only a study monkey, I can't use you. If you have all three, I can use you. And it takes, you know, and the worst part is in our field, there's so I work in IT. There's so much you have to learn. I always have to learn. But, <clears throat> but you also got to get out too. Uh, this year I didn't get out, gained a lot of weight, lost a lot. So getting there. So end of the day eat better, go outside, and have fun. I'm going to sign off. Talk to you later. Bye.